Alrighty guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of the Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright, now, last night, if you watched, you seen where we did a Trinity RGH 1.2. Okay, thanks to Mr. Josh Davidson for finding the PLL and also for his timing files on the Trinity. Now the Trinity, it was, it was pretty easy. Okay, well, today we got a wild hair up our butt. All right, and Josh has been on the phone with me. Okay, and we have been going back and forth with this crazy thing. Because on his Corona, it booted fine. On this one, <laughs> but there was a little bit of backstory story to that. But um, anyway, this is RGH 1.2 on a Corona. Now, this is a slim model. It is a 16 meg NAND. It is not a 4 gig, okay? It is 16, 16 meg NAND, okay? Um, non-wind bond, okay, as you can see, we got Samsung memory on it, and we got an ST NAND on it, okay, so we went ahead, and, um, as you can see, uh, we wired it, and, you know, Josh, uh, has, you know, I test with Josh, as he sends me timing files and everything, and what we have, we have a matrix chip on here, okay, so we have our three volt, our ground, okay, right here, and then, a is going to be our reset cable, B is going to be our post out, and E is going to go to our PLL. As you can see, I did a little fancy wiring here, and we used, um, we used Kynar wire on this one. All right, now I'm going to flip this over here, and I'm going to show you here. All right, so our reset cable is going to be the FT310N, and then um, we have our uh, PLL right here, which is a really tiny, little tiny itty-bitty point. All right, and then, of course, we have our uh, post out. Okay, that's it. So, there we are. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place this on there. Because without it, it would, like, extremely overheat very quickly. <laughs> so, I'm going to take our X clamp. I'm going to slam our X clamp on there. All right. And there we are. Okay, now, I'm going to plug this bastard in. Okay, and we have power. Now, let me explain, explain to you that, um, you know, this is uh, beta testing doing this, all right? And Josh has sat there and compiled 10,000 timing files. Now, the first one that we used uh, didn't work. We're sitting there scratching our head going, what the, why is it not working? Why is it working on yours and not on mine? What the hell's going on? So, um, we beat our head against the wall. And, um, you know, rapidly it starts spiraling out of control. And how I can say that is looking at the timing files that Josh named, okay? So we started off with RGH12beta89.co. Then it quickly turned into fucking piece of fucking bullshit. Then it turned into cocksucking Corona, which was finally the one that worked, all right? But there was something afoot with this. Okay, the problem was is the ECC uh, was corrupt. So, of course, it, you know, without the ECC, Ben, you know, it's, it's not going to boot if it's corrupt. So, Josh gets it in his head. Hey, listen, try, uh, try the uh, stock SMC. It's like, all right. And I did, and then the friggin' thing booted. So, we're like, you son of a bitch. Well, hours go by, and we're sitting here going like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So anyway, we got it to boot, and we're like, okay, so it was the ECC bin. So then we tried it with CR3. Well, I tried it with CR3. I tried it with the stock SMC, the CR3, uh, CR4 SMC, and the um, and SMC Plus, and they all worked, okay? So then we started to um, adjust and dynamically find out the crystal on the thing, because you got to remember, with a Corona, there is no clock on this thing. There's no standby clock. It's, they've, it's all been removed. The audio clock, everything has been removed. So there's no clock on here. So you are subjected to what this crystal is right here. All right. And uh, the OSC on the board can sometimes vary, which is like nutty, but it does. And it varies. So, of course, that does affect the boot time. So as you can see, we have had several timing files. Okay. Now, these are SVF. These were excess, uh, excess, um, excess VF here, okay? That's what we started out with. And, you know, because I've got the, uh, an X flasher, which is a really, really great NAND flasher, 
Okay, we wound up uh, doing all of these timing files. 81 being the worst, okay? 86 being the sweet spot, all right? Uh, 90 works just as good. Just it'll cycle twice with that one, and then, you know, and then it'll take off, and it'll run, and then you can repeatedly boot it, and it will cycle one time, you know, which is really cool. So you have a variation. Now, we're doing these because... He's going to be getting ready to release this, um, you know, to the general public. And we're just testing it because we got to know. Now, mind you, Winbond, okay, Winbond, what I'm referring to there, well, that's a certain bootloader that happens to be very large. And, of course, it's large and not in charge, all right? So, you know, it winds up um, where he's going to have to do some Winbond um, magic with this thing in order to make this work with Winbond. But anyway, this is with timing file number 86. Now, I'm going to turn off this light, okay? And this is RGH 1.2 using the PLL, okay, on the motherboard, all right? Now, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with that, um, RGH 2, it'll cycle within one to three, one, one to three cycles. Sometimes you, you'll get them with an insta-boot, you know, quite a few times, but then it'll break after so many times, and you have to reset it and all that crap. Well, with this, you don't have to. Okay, so, you know, there's a difference between RGH2 and RGH1.2, even though we are using RGH2 uh, binary, uh, bin to uh, assemble the XE build and everything, but a lot of calculations, a lot of craziness with this thing. All right, so anyway, this is timing file number 86 on this thing. So I got the light off. All right, so we'll be able to see how this thing boots. So we're going to hit it. All right, boom, done, booted. There you go. All right, now, after three blinks, that means that it, that it caught, okay? So, of course, it booted, all right? Now, we're going to turn it off, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to abuse the fuck out of it, okay? That's another boot right there, okay? Good to go. I'm going to shut that down. I'm going to reboot it again, okay? There we go again, okay? Perfect. We'll do it again. And off it goes. We'll do it again. Okay, it missed that time. There we go. See what I'm saying? Okay, so, you know, I mean, that, that, that's the cycles on this thing. So we'll do it again. It seems 86 is a sweet spot, though. All right? And it booted. Now, we'll unplug it. We'll plug it back in. We'll really abuse the fuck out of it. Okay? There we go, that worked, okay, now I'll unplug it, I'll unplug it back in again, here we go. I'm really fucking with the SMC right now, I'm really messing with the systems management controller. And it booted, there we go, I'll turn it on, turn it off, hit this, yeah, there we go, okay, yeah, it booted, okay, good. Alright, let's see how it does Zell, we'll turn that off, I'll hit Zell. Let's see what happens, yep, and of course Zell booted too, okay, as you can see, in between boots, in between sick twisted boots, okay, that I've been... I've been going crazy with here, as you can see. All right, so we'll do it again. And we go right out of Zell and right... It didn't even let the fan speed slow down. I, I didn't even let the fan turn off, okay? And, of course, it booted, okay? So, RGH 1.2 on a Corona, all right? Now, the next is going to probably be Windbond, okay? And then Josh has got a couple other things up his sleeve, all right? But anyway, RGH 1.2 method... On a slim Corona, okay, and as you can see, multiple boots, okay, over and over and over, okay, unplugging it, plugging it back in, okay, booting the damn thing while the fan is still spinning after I shut it down, okay, and not missing a beat, okay, so, you know, there you go, my hat's off to Josh, man, okay, all I got to say is, is Josh, you did a hell of a job on this thing, okay, a hell of a job on these timing files, man, so we have... Now, several timing files that we're going to be able to go ahead and use with this thing for various situations, of course, which depend upon the crystal on, on, the, uh, on the chip itself. And, you know, also, when you put it in the chassis, of course, things sometimes change, too. So that's the reason why you have so many to choose from. So you can find the best one that you can, and off you go. So, needless to say, I tested a lot with this thing. Josh and I tested all day with this thing because we wanted to make sure that it was going to that was going to do it. So, you know, Josh, eh, eh, but Corona, <laughs> Josh, you are so right, man. Corona just like, Corona sucks, man, okay? It, it is an evil little bastard, okay? It's like the Wolverine of Xboxes, okay? <laughs>
<laughs> and there was a lot of, uh, a, a lot of, um, shall I say, articulated curse words going on as we were doing this as well. So, you know, but I enjoyed testing with you. Thank you so much, Josh. Thanks for letting me, uh, for letting me do this and everything and also letting me use this on the consoles and stuff like that. I know it's not released yet and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. And this just makes, it, it just goes to show, you know, a little ingenuity and, uh, a psychopath on the other end of this thing named Josh Davidson and you know off you go you know I mean so anyway wiring it this way and uh, doing it, it seems to really work really well okay Josh wires his with the PL a little bit closer he'll put his chip um, sometimes he'll put his chip right here you know I mean I want to try it my way with with my wiring on it it seems to 86 is a sweet spot and works really good so you know there you go all right so anyway RGH 1.2 on Slim Trinity and Slim Corona. Next, Wind Bond. After that, surprise, surprise. We'll see. Anyway, y'all have a good one, guys. Have a great day. I got consoles to build. And, uh, yeah, they'll have this on it. So, you know, that way then everybody's happy. So, y'all take it easy. Talk to y'all later. Have a great day.